Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Nurse, is everything ready? Everything's ready, Dr. Rowland. Now, Claudia, I want you to breathe deeply and try to blow up this balloon. What's it for, Dr. Rowland? Oh, just a whiff of gas. Oh, I don't need it. This isn't so bad. Take just a little. Just a little. All right, if you say so. That's for sissies. I like to know what's happening. I, I don't have a baby every day. You're going to have a lovely dream, Claudia, if you just take a deep breath. Now concentrate on blowing up this balloon. And in a moment, you'll be asleep. I'm breathing, Dr. Rowland. I'm breathing. That's right. A deep breath. And another deep breath. Trust me and keep breathing deeply, Claudia. Take a deep breath. Deep breath. A deep breath. You're a nice girl and I like you. Very funny. Bet you 20 cents. You're a wise old duck, Mrs. Brown. Right this way, everybody. Right this way. Take a deep breath and come right this way. I'm breathing. I'm breathing so much I can hardly breathe. The ballroom's getting so big. Right this way to the merry-go-rounds, to the waterfall of a thousand colors. This is a lovely place. Won't somebody please tell me where I am? First, you must tell us who you are. You look awfully familiar in that white coat with that funny white mask across your face. You look like somebody I knew once. We all know somebody who knew once. Just walk around the grounds, lady, and make yourself at home. If you like, I'll lead you by the hand. Just trust me and take a deep breath. I'm breathing. I'm huffing and I'm puffing and I'll blow the whole stuff. <laughs> Oh, I wish I could think of your name. Names aren't important. What's yours? I'm Claudia Norton. That's my name. David. David, where are you? Oh, yes, he's here. You'll see him in a little while. Uh, come in, come in, Claudia Norton. And here's an ice cream cone for you. Oh, that's nice. I like strawberry best. My, isn't this a lovely place? Everybody looks so small and so happy. Everybody is happy. Everybody is always happy in Tomorrowland. I try and make them happy. I give them presents. Little live dogs. I can't decide what to do first. Well, then let me show you around. Right there by that peppermint tree, I think there's someone you'd like to see. David, will it be David? Oh, Claudia, you're so impatient. All my patients are impatient. <laughs> but come, follow me. And be careful you don't trip on a lollipop. Oh, this is such a lovely place. I've never been here before. Have I? We hope you'll come again. Oh. Now come, follow me, and take a deep breath. Just keep breathing. Lovely old farmhouse. What a beautiful dining room table. Just look in through that window and you'll see what you'll see. I see a man. Oh, isn't he handsome? He's dressed just like a farmer. Now, what's that he's sitting on? That's an architect's drawing board. Oh, the farmer who's an architect. That's funny. <laughs> he has a nice face, nice eyes. I think I've seen him someplace before. He reminds me a little of David, but he's not as handsome. Look, 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 there, sitting on the floor in front of him. What a sweet little boy. He looks like a man, only like a doll. I could love a little boy like that. Would you like me to open the window so you could hear what they're saying? Oh, please, please do. I don't want to miss a thing. I never want to miss a thing. Is that a terrible way to be? David says it is, but I think he's only joking. Please, please, open the window. <coughs> There's no window. Funny. Just disappeared. Shh. 
you can hear what they're saying. Well, now, son, did you finish your dinner? Your dinner? Your dinner? Dinner? Mommy said I was a good boy. You're all right. Nothing startling to look at. You'll get by. You'll get by. You'll get by. Daddy, I want some roller skates. I don't see why you shouldn't have some roller skates. I'll talk to your mother about it today. Now it's time you went to bed, to bed, to bed, to bed. I'm not sleepy. I don't want to go to bed. It's time you did. I'll come in and say good night. Now skadoodle and be sure to brush your teeth before you go to bed. To bed, to bed, to bed, to bed. I wish they wouldn't go away. It was so nice seeing them together. Father and son. David would make a nice father. Just like that, man. I'd like David to be a father. Just keep breathing easily and deeply. Just keep breathing. That's right. You're doing fine, Claudia. They're gone. With the dining room table. Oh, I wish David were here to see all this with me. Just hold on to my hand, Claudia. Trust me and follow me. Wait, wait, wait a minute. There's somebody going by I'd like to talk to. Mama! Yeah, she's going by so fast I can't stop her. Mama! Mama! You will see her again, Claudia. She'll come by again. But I don't want her to go away. Look, she's disappeared down by the waterfall of a thousand colors. She's gone. Just hold my hand, Claudia, and follow me. We'll take a ride down the very go round. We'll go round and round and round. so fast I can't stop it. David, David. The air is so full of balloons I can hardly see them. Oh, look, a balloon flew away. The air is so shiny and clear now. Everything's disappeared. Claudia, make a wish and tell me what you see. The man again. The man who looks like David. And the little boy who looks like David. And he's lots bigger now. Standing under a walnut tree on top of a hill. The man has his hand on the little boy's shoulder. Almost here. Well, son, how do you feel? Okay. I feel fine, Dad. Bags all packed? Sure. Mom helped me. Hey, Dad, why does Mom look so sad? Because she's your mother, son. Oh, well, you're my dad and you don't look sad. Well, someday you'll find out. Women feel differently about things. Well, doesn't Mom want to see me go away to school? Sure she does. She thinks it's a swell idea, only she'll miss you. Well, I'll miss her, too. I want to go away to school, but gee... Maybe it would be even nicer if you and Mom could come along with me. Well, thanks, son, but once you get there, you won't want us around. Are you sure, Dad? We're going to have lots of time, you and I, to go trout fishing or walk through our fields or up to the top of this hill. But first, you've got to go away to school. School, school, school. I wish that little boy didn't have to go away to school, but David says he should. And David's right. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's right. Only I'm going to miss him so. He's getting away from me. He's not really mine anymore. The last time I saw him, he was just a little baby, and now he's trying to act like a man. Just breathe deeply, Claudia. That's fine. Hold on to my hand. And one, two, three.
steps, Claudia, hold on to my hand. David, why aren't you here? Don't you know I love you? David, hold my hand. Right here. Right here beside you. Always. David, don't let me go. I'm falling. Help me, David. I'm falling. 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 That's fine, Claudia. That's just fine. That's good. That's fine. Everything's fine now, my dear. Just keep breathing deeply and rest. Where am I? Where am I? I I've been so far away in a beautiful land. My head's buzzing and Funny, you're, you're so familiar to me. Uh, oh, you're Dr. Rowland. Hello. Well, young woman, now you recognize me. Now, let me tell you something. No, 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 don't tell me anything, Dr. Rowland. You let me tell you. Dr. Rowland, everything is going to be wonderful. I just know it because I've seen it. I've seen all of it. David and I are going to have a son. Mrs. Norton, David and you have a son. Are you off for a holiday picnic? Don't forget the Coke. For ice-cold Coca-Cola carried in one of those handy new picnic coolers brings you the pause that refreshes at any time of day, wherever you may be. If you're driving, invitations to stop and refresh dot the highway. They make it easy for the man at the wheel and all the passengers to drive refreshed. So there you have it, Mr. King, a newborn baby boy. Congratulations, Dr. Rowland. Bringing a healthy young man in the world... It's a great reward. I've always thought that your branch of medicine must be the most satisfactory. On a night like tonight, it is. Has David seen his new son? Just going by. He'll have his first good look at him tomorrow morning. Oh, I think I'd like to be there for that. Newborn fathers are an amusing lot, Mr. King. They expect the strangest things of their babies. I uh, suppose that means that David's introduction to his son tomorrow is going to be rather worth hearing. Oh, very. See you then. Goodbye, Mr. King. Well, goodbye, and thanks, Dr. Rowland. As I was about to say, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. These broadcasts are adapted for radio by Manya Starr. And the entire production is supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now, here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. <laughs>